Okay, and the reason I did that is just to show if we have this check valve position how it is right now. We can't get a wrench on there from up above because of our fittings in the way. And when this is mounted on a machine, we're not gonna be able to get on it from down here. So before I tighten the end cap, I'm just gonna turn this check valve so I can get a wrench on there once it's on the machine. And this is gonna be a side mount, so this will work perfectly. Next, we'll go ahead and use our end cap torquing tool and fit it into the holes on the end cap. I've already adjusted my torque wrench to 85 foot-pounds. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this down. Next, we're going to install this manifold onto the short block and then also the directional valve. Uh, normally, though, on the pump, you would and bolt this short block away from the manifold and leave it on the machine. But we're just gonna go through the steps here and show everyone how it works. Now, we have two O-rings here. I'm gonna go on one on each end bell. I'll just get some oil in each one. Get our O-rings in there. Smear some oil on them. Next is our manifold. And just try and get their holes lined up as good as we can so we don't have to move it around on the O rings too much. Looks to be pretty close. And just a bit of blue goop on each end of these bolts since they're stainless. All right, we're just gonna bring these down even and torque them to 35 foot-pounds. This is our relief valve. We may need to take it out here so we can get the, the socket on these bolts for torquing them down. Set it over there. Bring these up to 35 foot pounds and evenly. Crisscross pattern. Just check them again real quick. And we're good there. And put this relief valve back in. Now we'll tip this down and put the directional valve on. And it will 
still sit here for us. It's not a bad idea to throw a bolt in. I can find them. I'll just put one on there so it doesn't fall off on us. Next is our directional valve here. I'll just look at this surface and make sure it's clean there. Let's make sure our ceiling surface is clean on both of these. And there's a couple dowels on here that line up with the manifold. And the O-rings on here also just need a little bit of oil. These ones are already done, so I didn't worry about it. And we have these bolts to go in there. Again, a little bit of blue goop on each one. Let's get these started real quick. All right, the torquing on these We'll start off with these smaller center ones at 11 and a half foot pounds. We'll take those down first and then we'll start in on the outer ones and bring them up to 55 foot pounds using a crisscross pattern. And once we've hit 55 on these outer bolts, we'll go back and hit these center ones at 11 and a half foot pounds again. That is it with the directional valve and manifold. Next we're going to install the shift sensors and shift pins.